Welcome, everyone. We're just letting a few people in. Um, we've got over 100 people in the waiting room, so everyone's kind of trickling in. And we're going to get started in just a few. And so I just wanted to confirm up with you that that was the price. And me personally, I don't think we should see. Welcome, folks. We are just waiting for more people to join. Um, if this is your first time joining us, welcome to the Ultraviolet community. Um, it's nice to also see some familiar faces and names. So welcome back. Um, and we'll get started in just a second. Just enjoy the music for now. Bye about. We'll start soon. Welcome, folks. I see more people joining. Um, we are going to get started in just a few minutes. Um, let's enjoy the music for now. Again, welcome to the folks who are joining us for the first time. Welcome back to the many familiar names and faces I'm seeing on the screen. So happy to see you again. Um, Uh-oh. Looks like some people can't hear. All right. Okay, good. I'm glad, Marianne. Okay, cool. All right, let's give folks a couple more minutes. I see more people joining the waiting room. So we're going to let those folks in and we'll start in just a second. Love seeing that we've got folks joining us from all across the country. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm in LA, so it's it's still light outside, but thank you to the folks who are joining us from the East Coast. Um, and we will give folks another one minute to join and then we'll start our program, so. Why can't any man Hello. Can you play a song with a fucking beat? Hit it like Grandpa Mabon. Get it hot like Papa John. Make a bitch go on and on. It's a feminine phenomenon. Hit it like Grandpa Mabon. Get it hot like Papa John. All right. Um, I think we should get started. We have a full um, program ahead of us tonight, and we want to. Uh, we're actually going to break folks out into smaller groups so we can have some more intimate discussions, which I'm super excited about. But before we go there, again, I want to welcome everyone to the Ultraviolet community. Thank you again for those who are joining us for the second and third time. Welcome back. Um, welcome to the new folks um, who are joining us for the first time. Um, I, I am Nicole Regalado. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a first generation immigrant from the Philippines. I grew up here in Los Angeles, California, and I also happen to be the vice president of campaigns at Ultraviolet Action. For folks new to our community, Ultraviolet Action is a multiracial, multi-generational, and multi-issue feminist organization with an online community of more than 1 million members from across the country. Together, we take strategic actions in response to the daily injustices that women and gender non-conforming people face. 
On behalf of our whole team and board, I wanna welcome each and every one of you into this space. We are humbled that you are joining us today. Um, we'd love to get to know you a bit more in the chat, if you can please, some of you already doing this. So if you can please just introduce yourself, share your name, where you're calling from, and what is helping you cope with our current reality of a second Trump administration. Um, so again, please put your name, where you're calling from, and the things that are keeping you grounded um, in this moment. So I'll get started. Again, my name is Nicole. I'm calling in from Los Angeles and specifically from sunny South Pasadena. Um, what's been helping me over the past week or so has been spending time with my loved ones, just spending quality time with my chosen and my biological family, well, a few of them, <laughs> has kept me uh, grounded and has really helped me get through um, the past few weeks. Um, so I see folks are putting their answers in the chat. It's nice to see. Um, yes, I, I feel it. Writing, reading, and bitching. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, Julie, that totally resonates with me. Um, oh, your cat, Madison. I am a proud child-free dog mom, and my dog is everything right now. He is right here next to me, laying on my feet. Um, yes, Francesca, removing myself from social media, totally. It's really tough to, to be on that hamster wheel right now. Um, prayer, exercise, and cocktails, Eleanor. Yes, that's such a winning combo to get through hard times. All right, well, thank you all for sharing. Um, so before we get into our program, I wanna go over a few logistics. So today's community call will be the first of many. Um, this call will take about one hour. Um, the first part of the call, which you are currently in, will be recorded. So in just a moment, you'll hear from our executive director, Shauna, and then you'll hear from me again as we move into the second half of the call. The second half of the call is going to be breaking out into smaller group discussions. That portion of the call will not be recorded. We are utilizing automated live transcript captions. So you can view those by clicking on the button at the bottom of your screen. OK, so let's get started. It is my honor to introduce to you our co-founding mother, fierce and fearless leader, our executive director, Shauna Thomas. Um, take it away, Shauna. Thank you, Nicole. Hi, everybody. Um, as Nicole said, I'm Shauna Thomas, co-founder of Ultraviolet. My pronouns are she, her. Um, I'm originally from Southern California, but I live with my family now in Maryland, and I'm just so grateful to see you all, to be in community. My role tonight, uh, as Nicole said, is just to give a quick recap of where we are, kind of a grounding and what we know, um, before I turn it back to Nicole to uh, lead us through what we're going to do. Because we are here to be in community, but we're also here to take action. You know, this community is very much our source of power, and it will only get more important as the Trump administration, other politicians, even foreign actors, right, continue to work to divide us. So for the last week, we've really been doing a lot of processing of the fact that millions of Americans elected a man who ran on a fascist and blatantly sexist and racist platform for president over a more qualified, more popular woman leader who had been nominated by a major party for the second time in our country's history. But here's what else we know. Biden was on track to lose. Kamala Harris made the election competitive with very little time. Black women once again turned out over 90% of their voters for Harris, continuing to be organizers everybody needs to learn from. And we had important wins. 10 of 12 abortion ballot initiatives passed, many of which uh, ultraviolet members worked uh, to make possible. Two Democratic Black women elected to the Senate. Feminist priorities like paid leave, uh, raising the minimum wage, child and elder care, those things won, those priorities won on the ballot, even in red states. So there, there's still just a lot of unknowns. Um, there are some votes still being counted. We have a lot to dig into about what happened. The Trump campaign lied about their true goals. We do know that. He distanced himself from Project 2025, distanced himself from the Republican position on a national abortion ban, 
right? They relied on historic levels of disinformation and voter suppression to win. All of that played a role. So the choice for you know, a lot of people may ultimately have come down, you know, to the price of groceries, to personal finances, something we can all relate to. And they opted for change, even if they didn't, uh, in a lot of cases, they didn't like Trump. So <clears throat> here's where we know we are. You did your part. We as a community showed up. Now we have a choice ahead of us. Do we accept defeat, keep our heads down yes, until the next election? Yeah. Or do we look hard at where we won? we build on that success, learn from, you know, where we lost and, and do the work we always knew was long-term to build the feminist majority we need to get the country we deserve. That's the choice. And, you know, we held a call the day after the election that more than a thousand of us attended. We watched um, Kamala Harris's heartbreaking concession speech. We screamed together. So many of you, I'm sure were on that call, spoke up on that call to say you wanted to know the plan the roadmap to taking power back. And we heard you. Others just appreciated being together. And I really relate to that too. You know, our mission ultimately is to win, but it's to do it by investing in this community and ultimately the priorities of all women. And we need to surface what those are. So I'm going to pass it now to Nicole to talk about what we're doing with this call, what we're poised to do as the multiracial, multi-issue feminist community that can get us all through this. Thanks so much, Shauna. Um, so bottom line is we need each other in the fights ahead. Fascists and fascism will continue to divide our communities. Even in women's spaces and feminist spaces, there are existing divisions that Trump and Trumpism will prey on. I've been harmed in feminist spaces and it felt terrible. Um, but one or even many hurtful interactions hasn't swayed my hope in us, the people. Um, we've kept each other safe in the worst of times. I've relied on my chosen sisters to get through working for terrible bosses, not not Shauna, <laughs> terrible bosses, um, relationship back breakups that literally knock the wind out of me, and even cancer. I'm, I'm a cancer survivor, um, and so much more. I relied on my community to get through it all. Um, our vision is about creating a movement-wide women's space, feminist space, where we consistently show up for each other. And I mean show up. Um, we'll need to protect each other in the months and years to come. We'll need to band yeah. together to disrupt and disobey yeah. unjust yeah. laws like we did under the first Trump administration. We'll need to both protect our wins and freedoms and build alternative paths for people to access things like healthcare, like abortion and gender affirming care. Women need to show up for each other right now and that more than ever to build the feminist future we all deserve. That includes building a space uh, where we welcome cis, trans, and gender non-conforming people, women of all races, income levels, education levels, a space where people who are curious about gender and have a lot of questions are just as welcome, feel just as welcome as people with gender studies degrees. No matter where you are on your journey to liberation, you are welcome in this space we are creating. Every single one of our staff members, and I'm going to pause before and to go into breakouts to introduce them. We all have skin in the game, um, and we all understand that our freedom is tied up and connected to yours. Um, our power building strategy, our roadmap is about investing in us. So now that doesn't mean that there won't be conflict, right? That's not a thing. A community without conflict isn't really a community and we'll work through conflict together. But one step at a time, the first step in investing in us, the people, is getting to know each other. That's right. So our roadmap to building an inclusive and welcoming feminist activist community starts tonight and it starts with you. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, in just a moment, we're going to break out into smaller groups by geographic region. So each of these groups will be staffed by one of my ultraviolet colleagues who will facilitate a short discussion with prompts. So Mary, can we put this slide up with um, uh, our team members, faces and names? So if you, people are familiar with that. Yeah. If you're on a phone, you don't have that. I'll, I'll read off their names as well. 
Okay, so we've got team members joining us today. Uh, one more back, Mary. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we've got Elisa, who many of you might know, um, who often facilitates our community calls, joining us today. Kathy, Rosa, Jenna, myself, Shauna, who you just heard from, and Arisha, um, who was also on the call, and you're, you'll hear from her later. So these are going to be your breakout session leads. All of us um, have been doing organizing and mobilizing work. Uh, we come from different backgrounds, uh, different economic backgrounds, different racial identities, cultural identities. Um, and we, you know, uh, work together on the day to day to really uh, push for uh, for feminist uh, cultural and political change. So I'm so excited for y'all to have a little bit more intimate time together and intimate time um, with our staff leaders. Um, and so if you can go to the next slide, please, uh, with geographic locations. Great. So um, in just a second, my colleague Mary is going to open up our breakout rooms. So what I will ask y'all to do is please join a breakout room um, based on the region that you currently live. So um, what we're going to do in these breakout rooms is your staff leader is going to facilitate a short discussion with prompts, and then we're going to come back to this space, to the bigger room, and we're gonna report out some top level themes um, and, and just see how that went, see how that felt, right? We're, we're building a community and we wanna see, exercise our muscles a, a little bit here, um, especially as we're all remote and we're doing it on Zoom. Um, so Mary, if you can please go ahead and open up the breakout rooms. Um, folks, you should see a pop-up on your screen on the um and please click the button to join the regional group where you live all right so i'll see you back here in 20 minutes or so, so 